Hi, this is Jack Pinter, and I'd just like to share a few simple mindfulness exercises with you. The first one is to get us to focus on our breath, to bring our awareness to our breath. And to do this, all you need to do is practice three conscious breaths. And here's the way to do it. It's very simple. I'm just going to ask you to breathe in. And as you breathe in, I'm going to ask you to think the number one, like I'm doing now. And as you breathe out, just think or say the number two. Two. As you breathe in again, I'm going to ask you to think the number three. And as you breathe out, think the number four. Once again, as you breathe in, I'm going to ask you to count the number five. And as you exhale, count the number six. Sometimes three conscious breaths can be enough to bring us into a new state of mind or a state of being. This is what we're trying to do in, with mindfulness practice. Move away from doing and into being. Now you don't have to stop there. I could do simply do three more conscious breaths just like as I'll do now for you without the counting. Here we go. Again, whenever you reach the end of that number six, when you finish another three breaths, you can ask yourself, shall I do three more? Or am I in a place now where I feel ready to pause, ready to stop? Conscious breathing, of course, is one of the absolute fundamental practices of mindfulness. I'm now gonna share a practice with you, which is really about when you're trying to relax, when you need to relax, or even when you need to wind down at the end of your day, so that you can go to bed, so that you can fall asleep. And what I'm gonna ask you to do in this exercise, I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes. And you can start just by taking another big breath in. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And as you continue to breathe, every time you exhale, Every time you let the breath out, just let go of whatever it is that you've been doing. Let go of whatever you've been thinking about or worrying about. You can let go of whatever's been happening, whatever's been said. Now, wherever you are, if you're on a chair, if you're on the sofa, or if you're in bed, just sink down and feel that chair, that sofa, or the bed beneath you. Take a moment to enjoy that feeling, the body at rest, the mind at rest. There's no need to do anything. No reason, no need to think anything. And allow the breath to find its own natural rhythm. And imagine that in a moment, the body's just simply going to power down. I'm gonna ask you to imagine that the lowest part of your body is just going to switch off now. This may be your feet, a foot, your leg, your legs. Imagine that those muscles in your feet and your legs are just going to switch off. And now moving up to your hips, to your back, 
your chest and your shoulders. All these parts of your body, you're just going to power down now. It's just going to switch off and let them relax. This powering down can be effortless, like letting the air out of a balloon or taking the plug out and just watching water drain out of the bath or out of the sink. You power down, you let that balloon go, the air will fly out. And in this way, you can release any energy, any tension. Also in your arms, your hands and your fingers. And you can do the same with your throat, with your neck and your jaw. Let any energy, any tension there just melt away. Power down as you switch off. And now allow the same thing to happen with the muscles in your face, in your eyes and your head. And maybe inside your brain, just think of powering down, turning off a light switch and letting it go dark. Just switch off just for these few moments. Your heart will still beat. Your blood will be effortlessly pushed around your body to take care of you. But your muscles now are now fully powered down and allow your mind this space to rest as well. And even if thoughts appear when they appear, let them drift in, let them drift away. For this moment, you know that your body is relaxed and at ease. It can stay switched off for a while, even if you hear a noise in the background, even if there's something that can cause your attention away. Just let that body stay powered down and switched off just for this moment. Now, if you are wanting to fall asleep, wanting to rest, this is a great way of putting you in a place where that's going to be easier. If you are trying to fall asleep and this hasn't quite done it yet, you can always do another simple thing like just count down from a thousand, a thousand, 999, 998, 997, you can just think those numbers counting down and that may also help you relax and fall asleep. Now we also talked just about the importance of giving our mindful attention to other people when we're with them. Just to have a mindful moment with someone else a mindful meeting. And we can do this in lots of different ways. We can give someone our full attention. We might just want to listen and not interject and share what we need to say. Just give someone 30 seconds or a minute of our full attention where we hear them out. When we put ourselves in their shoes, we can do this listening with people we're in a room with. We can even do this with people who are somewhere else, we can think, I wonder what it's like right now for Kate or for Julian or for Alfie or for Sue or for Sarah or for anyone. Can I just think for a moment, bring them into my conscious awareness so we can be mindful with others as well as being mindful with ourselves. And one more thing I'd like to share with you is just this idea of gratitude. What are we grateful for? 
And this simple practice I showed you is just, can you think of 10 things, 10 things right now that you're grateful for? And you can just simply count them on your fingers from one to 10. Now, I can think of this moment. I'm really grateful that I'm here in this moment. I can be grateful of all the people who in my life who've supported with me, who've taught me, who shared with me. I'm grateful for my physical health. I'm grateful that I can find mental sanity uh, most days. I'm also grateful for the love of the people I share my life with. I'm grateful for my senses, what I can see, hear, and touch, and taste. I'm really grateful for the invitations I get to connect with other people. I'm grateful for the ability to stretch my body and stretch my mind. And I'm also grateful that, you know, a lot of the time for no reason, if I want to, I can just laugh or I can find something to laugh at. And that makes me mindful as well. And of course, I'm also grateful for just this opportunity to share these mindfulness practices with you and wish you all the best. Take good care.